no one remembers Nakrana's real name. All those who knew her when she was alive have long since died, and Nakrana herself rarely speaks if she speaks at all. Wrapped in stained and torn robes, the Death Maiden Ancient is a nightmare given form to the gangs of Hive Ceres and beyond. Years of battle have left her flesh pocked with bullet wounds and scarred by blades, the punishment far more than anything living could survive. And yet, Nakrana endures, her face slowly rotting away beneath her mask of stained bandages. While age has slowed Nakrana's reactions, the embalming toxins that fill her body have made her far more resilient to compensate. As her enemies will attest, the Death Maiden has risen from kill shots and supposedly fatal blows time and time again. There are those within the Moragan who have argued to let Nakrana be put to rest, it being well known that should a Death Maiden stop receiving her regular treatments, she will die for good. These other Death Maidens believe to keep one of their own active for so long is an affront to the laws of the house and an act of extreme cruelty. The Ceres Chemist cult who minister to Nekrana argue that Nekrana continues to hunt for the clan willingly. What they haven't told anyone, however, is Nekrana hasn't taken their elixirs for years. Hello and welcome back to Wellywood Wargaming. My name is Damon and this is the series where I give you all of the agents and dramatis personae in the game of Necromunda. Before I get started though, please do like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and support the channel any way that you can. As we get into it with Necrana, now this one is a good one. Uh, it's been out for quite a while with the House of Blades book. So if you're a fan of Esher, the ladies of Necromunda, this chick is exclusive to the Esher gang. Um, so you can only hire her for Esher gangs. Of course, you could use this character as a uh, you know leader in an outcast gang as well. But like I say, with all of these agents, please do speak to your arbitrator about how you might cost them. Um, but let's get into it anyway. There is no official model of Nekrana. Um, however, she is pretty much a slightly better Death Maiden. Um, so you could just use one of the Death Maidens from the Escher Death Maiden and Felix Cat uh, box sets, um, and maybe with a few alterations. But other than that, her weapons are pretty standard Death Maiden gear. Um, and other than that, she looks pretty cool in the illustration. I'm sure you could make something a little bit more zombie-like if you really wanted to. Um, but let's have a look at the stats now anyway. So if you want to hire Nekrana uh, in, in your gangs, uh, in your games, in your campaigns, and petition her, um, at the lowest cost, she is 100 credits, and at the maximum cost, she is 200 credits, which I still think either way is very much worth it. Most of these agents are certainly worth the cost that they go for. However, they're a little bit all over the place. You've got some some that are very, very good for only 80 credits and some sort of average ones that are two or 300 credits. So this one's kind of mid-tier, I suppose. Um, she certainly doesn't offer Escher Gangs anything particularly unique in that she, like I said, she is basically a slightly better Death Maiden um, and she's certainly better than your average Death Maiden. She comes with a couple of skills and slightly better stats. Um, but other than that, she doesn't really offer your Escher Gang anything new. However, if you're missing your Death Maiden in a game or you're just under the pump and you haven't actually won too many games or whatever, uh, Nekrana is a great addition to your gang to sort of bolster the ranks and add a bit of toughness and a bit, bit more threat to your gang, I suppose, as well. Um, she's got some special rules which are pretty cool as well um, but let's look at the stats now though like I said there are, there are no official models uh, from Forge World for this one so you would have to kit bash your own one up um, that said uh, using the stats here we've got a movement of 5 weapon skill of 2 plus and a ballistic skill of 4 plus so not particularly great at shooting but very very good in close combat strength 3 toughness 4 so the same as your typical death maiden there however she's got 3 wounds 3 attacks and initiative of 4 up so she's not quite as agile as your normal death maidens and her ballistic skill I don't think is as good either um, sort of representing her rotting away basically uh, the uh, mental stats here are leadership 8 plus uh, which is pretty low we've also got a 4 plus call 7 plus willpower and 7 plus intelligence there as well so her mental stats aren't quite as good as your death maidens uh, either however those 3 wounds and 3 attacks are amazing there really really nice um, now she comes with a ve venom claw and a needle pistol uh, the Venom Claw is definitely the best Escher exclusive close combat weapon you can get. If you don't know, it is a melee weapon. It is minus 2 AP, 1 damage, uh, entangle, melee, and toxin. So combine that with your Death Maidens uh, re-rolling wands to wound and stuff. Pretty nice. Um, and I think... 
I think the Corona does get that, although it doesn't actually say it in the um, rules here whether she gets the toxic blood thing. I would imagine, imagine that she probably does because she is a death maiden, but it isn't actually stated here whether she does or not. Um, she does come with hit and run and rain of blows as two skills. Now, they aren't particularly optimal skills, I'll be honest. Hit and run is a finesse skill. I mean, it's cool. You get to, uh, after you charge, if you don't take out your opponent, you get a free retreat action before they make reaction attacks. Um, so figure that one out. It's it's an interesting one. I mean, generally, nine times out of ten, you're going to be absolutely roasting whatever you charge. However, if you absolutely don't kill whatever you've charged, whether it's, a I don't know, a huge vehicle or something, then um, you can you get to retreat for free. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, however, initiative four up. You know that's that's tricky as well. Um, I'm not sure how it works there. Whether you get the, we have to actually roll for it, or you just get to retreat for free. I'm not. It's worded strangely there. Um, she's also got a um, mesh armor and a respirator as well. Uh, mesh armor being a five up save, and the respirator helping a little bit in those um, gas gassy um, sort of. Um, things that happen i suppose um the other thing and a really really good special rule here that she's got though is uh immortal death maiden now necrana is unaffected by the coup de gras simple action and treats any out of action result on the injury dice as a serious injury instead while seriously injured necrana does not roll injury dice in the recovery phase instead she will recover suffering a flesh wound as normal if she can roll equal to or less than her toughness characteristic of four once Necrana's toughness is reduced to zero as a result of flesh wounds, she is removed as a casualty as normal. Pretty cool there, especially if you did take her as a leader in an outcast gang. I have to say, though, for all the Escher exclusive um, Dramatis Personae, I think she's one of my least favorites just because she is so linear and she's like, like a Death Maiden. Not as good in some ways, better in other ways, but doesn't really offer you anything particularly unique, um, especially when you compare her to the, um, you know, the clan chemist chick that we just did not long ago, um, Ather Athera and Styx as well. Um, you got some really good uh, Escher ones. I particularly like Betty Banshee. I think Betty Banshee is probably my favourite uh, Dramatis Personae for the Escher, um, and just incredibly good for the cost as well. So this one. It's a good one. Like I said, the real use here for her, I suppose, is to use her in your um, in your Escher gangs when you when you when you're missing a few you know um, fighters in your gang when you're missing your Death Maiden or whatever. Um, then you could use um, Necrana and petition for her aid. Anyway, that's Necrana. Anyway, let me know what you think about her if you've used her in your games or whatever. Comment down below, and I'll be back with another video real soon. Peace out.